So welcome back. So the git checker we have to do is version 016 this time if you want to join in, jump into my code. Um, so what can we do now? Well, when I actually put in real username and real password, it'll actually give me a login successful. If I put something wrong in, it'll console log that not the correct user, uh, username and password. So we want to now actually use that to actually remove or show an error depending on if we can log in or not. So how are we going to do that? Well, we already have this available, so all we need to do is kind of changed when we actually get an accepted username we want to change the text inside the dialog so we want to kind of remove this or set it to null or empty and if something actually is wrong then we want to show the message something like this again so it's we have two different things we can do here now how do we do that first of all we want to make this this is very static right now it's a static string that we are passing onto our login view we don't want that anymore now notice that now when I'm putting it inside a single quotation mark here, it's actually a string. But if I want it to be a property inside the component of the login component, then I'll actually write a login error here. Then I won't put the quotations mark around it, the single quotations. Now I'll go into my component here and I'll make a new property that I will call login error. Uh, and I'll just make that a string like this, semicolon. And then if I go back now, you'll see that now it actually points to that specific property. So now it's dynamic. Now I can put in text here whenever I want. That will be passed on to the component input right here. And that will then be shown inside the login view um, right here as the, as the sign in error. Okay, so that's how it works. Now back to the code. So what we need to do is as soon as we actually make something wrong here, we want the, the login this dot log an error we want that to be set to something so we're going to say this dot log an error and then we're going to set that equal username password is wrong just like we had before and if we actually do log in then we're just going to set it to null or empty or whatever you want so now it's actually not there anymore so save this and let's go back to our view now you see there's no error anymore let's try and log in with a bad thing El builder one two three four login, username password was wrong, one, two, three instead, login, we're back and we're actually logged in. So now we can manipulate the message with a property inside the component and that property is actually passed into the CP login view using the sign in error that we built inside the login view as an input field and that login error will now point to whatever I'm putting inside this login error here. Inside this view, this is the sign-in error that I talked about. Now that is actually used inside the login view component here to actually show some kind of sign-in error if something is there, meaning that it must be above zero in length and it cannot be null. So that's it. That's how you actually start using this as a dynamic message instead of the old static methods. Next time, let's try and do even more. And actually, when we log in, we're going to switch page. See you in the next lesson.